How to make a camcorder stabilizer. If shaky home videos are making your audience seasick, it's time to steady your hand. You will need a PVC pipe, one and a half to two and a half inches in diameter, six six inch pieces, two three inch pieces, four two and a half inch pieces, and three one and a half inch pieces, 10 45 degree elbow connectors, two PVC T connectors, a four way cross connector, a PVC end cap, a can of PVC cement, a drill with a quarter inch bit, a quarter inch carriage bolt, about four inches long, a quarter inch nut, a quarter inch wing nut, a quarter inch fender washer, and a camcorder. Optional, black spray paint and grip tape. Step one, attach two 45 degree elbow connectors to either end of a six inch PVC pipe. This will be the bottom of your camcorder stabilizer. Step two, add a piece of two and a half inch PVC pipe to each connector's open end and then attach a T connector to both. Step three, separately affix the two three inch pieces of PVC to opposite ends of the four way cross connector. Attach an elbow to the open end of each three inch piece. This assembly will serve as your camera's base. Step four, attach the two assemblies you've built so far by attaching the elbows to two one and a half inch PVC pieces and those pieces to the inward facing holes in the T connectors. Step five, add the remaining two two and a half inch PVC pipe pieces to the open holes on each T connector and attach elbow connectors to the pipes. Step six, attach a pair of six inch PVC pipes to the open ends of the elbow connectors. Attach elbow connectors to their open ends. Step seven, now build the top of the stabilizer. Attach a pair of elbow connectors to either end of a six inch PVC pipe. Then, attach the two remaining unused 6-inch pieces to the other ends of the elbow connectors. Step 8. Connect the elbow connectors on the top pieces of your stabilizer to both 6-inch side pieces, forming an octagon and completing your basic frame. Step 9. Seal all the connections on your stabilizer by brushing on PVC cement and let dry. Spray paint your stabilizer black to make it look sleeker. Step 10. Create the camera mount. To begin, drill a hole the size of a bolt through the center of a PVC end cap. Step 11. Thread the carriage bolt through the underside of the cap so it pokes through the top of the cap. Screw the nut down the bolt until it meets the cap, holding the bolt in place. Step 12. Attach the underside of the cap to the remaining one and a half inch piece of PVC and cement them together. Let them dry. Step 13. Screw the wing nut onto the top of the bolt and add the washer. Step 14. Screw the bolt into the camcorder's bottom tripod hole and tighten the wing nut. For easier handling, apply grip tape to the two sidebars of your stabilizer. Step 15. Once your camera is secured to the bolt, attach the assembled mount to the top of the cross connector in the center of your rig and cement the connecting PVC. You're ready to start recording one steady shot at a time. Did you know? The first movie to use a handheld stabilized camera rig or Steadicam was the 1976 David Carradine film Bound for Glory.